Hey guys, Thunder E here, and here's the video we've been waiting for, the battery charge test on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And of course, you know we're gonna be comparing it to other devices. Now, before we go ahead, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to subscribe to the channel so we can make more videos like this for you. Now, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with a 4300 milliamp battery. It's got a 25 watt charger, so which means this thing can charge really fast, much faster than what we have with the Galaxy Note 9. But how does it compare to the competition and is it really fast, right? So let's go ahead and measure it in this video. Now, um, you guys are wondering what device is? Well, it's not going to be the iPhone because the iPhone is just slow. So let's put it that way, iPhone charging is not fast. Sorry, iPhone fans, just gotta set it aside. But what we're going to be comparing it to is the OnePlus 7 Pro with the warp charger at 30 watts and it's a 4,000 milliamp battery, as well as the Huawei P30 Pro, which does have a uh, 4,200 milliamp battery and a 40 watt charger, so it's really fast. And then we've got the Oppo Reno 10X Zoom, which has a um, 20 watt charger and a 4,065 milliamp battery. Now, as I mentioned, Samsung has a 25 watt charger with it, um, and that's something we're going to see with its 4300 milliamp battery. So we'll put it up, we'll see how it works, but without wasting any more time, let's start charging. So everything's plugged in, let's go ahead and start. So of course we turn everything on, you're gonna see everything start turning on. Uh, and right now we're gonna be roughly at 1%. Now, a thing of note is the Huawei actually turns on uh, when you start charging it. So we're going to go ahead and do the same for the other devices. We'll turn them on so that it's a fair and balanced field here. So this is about 20 seconds in, everything is now powered on. Fast forwarding a bit, we're gonna hit our first uh, read at 10 minutes um, for all these devices. Again, the galaxies are the far left uh, with the OnePlus at the far right. Uh, now, our first device, uh, first check at 10 minutes, we've got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus at 21%. Clearly see it off the always on display. Uh, it's pretty nice for the 25 watt charger um, and uh, it looks like Samsung has improved things from what they had from last year. Oppo comes in uh, pretty much the last numbers here at 14%. So even though it's got a, a 30 watt charger with their fast charging, it's, it's lagging behind the Galaxy's 25 watt charger. Now the Huawei P30 Pro is at 26% with its 40 watt charger and you can see the advantages of it right here on this device. So you can see Huawei is leading the head right now and second is the OnePlus 7 Pro with the warp charger which you've got here at 24%, not 10 minute mark. So we can see where things lie. We'll see how things change as we do our next check. I'm gonna to move to 41 minutes uh, for our next check. We had a couple of checks in between just to see where they are. And it was still pretty close around the same uh, um, percentages, if you will. But the biggest change comes in around 35 minutes to 41 minutes or so. This is when we see change in percentages and also big jump in battery percentages. So. Uh, Doing our check here, first the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is at 84%, that is really good. And it's jumped ahead as you can see with the list, but we're just gonna go through for a second. So it's at 84%, uh, proving 25 watt charger is quite quite good. So you get 84% in 40 minutes of charge, while the Oppo is at 67% uh, at 41 minutes of charge. So that's what we have for Oppo right here. And then uh, the P30 Pro is at 87%. So again, that 40 watt charger is pushing ahead really strong for Huawei, which is really nice. So that's good to see that there. And finally, the OnePlus 7 Pro now is behind at 79%. So it's got a 79% for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, so maybe the, the Galaxy will go ahead from here on. So we're gonna go through some checks here and we'll go to the 60 minute mark again hour to see where we are. We're gonna check in between, but it's interesting to see how charging has just changed over the years and how fast you can charge your device. You can see 40 minutes, we're getting about 80% or so, uh, 80 something percent, which is pretty nice, at least for what Huawei and Samsung offer. So the 60 minute mark, 
The Galaxy Note 10 Plus is at 94%. That's pretty cool. So in an hour, you get almost full battery life, 94%. This is where things slow down. Uh, and the Oppo uh, 10X zooms at 82%. It's moved up a bit, much better. Uh, the Huawei is at 98%. It's almost done. Uh, again, the 40 watt charger is really nice. And the OnePlus is now caught up back with the Note 10 Plus at 94%. But you're gonna see how uh, the end of charging differs with different devices. Some devices are faster, some devices are slower towards the end of their charging process, uh, which is quite interesting. But I think we know well that within an hour with any of these devices, we can get enough juice to get our day going, which is pretty cool. So uh, the first device that actually goes to 100 is the Huawei P30 Pro. At an hour, three minutes, it gets to 100%, which is pretty nice. And it's good to see. So an hour, three minutes, that's, that's, that's awesome. I mean, I think uh, that sets a mark, but also remember that's a 40 watt charger there. Now we're going to move forward, uh, speed through. We did a couple of checks in between uh, just to see where this is. But our Galaxy has hit 100%. Right there, you can see the green icon on the always on display at about a, an hour and eight minutes. That is pretty cool. So in our eight minutes, we've got. Um, 100% on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, that 25 watt charger, only a few minutes behind what the Huawei has done, which is cool, which is really good. And of course you can see uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro is at 98% still. So it's a trickle charge time. So we're gonna see where the OnePlus lands and where of course the Oppo lands at the very end uh, to get a good idea of what we have for times. But that was quite, quite impressive for um, you know, for the Galaxy device, Samsung's had slow chargers in the fast charge in the past, but not as fast as we've seen lately. And it looks like they've stepped up their game. And it looks like our OnePlus 7 Pro is done at an hour 12 minutes, so that's also really good. An hour 12 minutes, it's not a bad time for OnePlus, solid, fast, effective. And we're gonna see where, of course, our um, Oppo is. Oppo Reno is at 92%. And yeah, just gonna make sure we finalize and see where the Oppo end, ends at. And I believe it's at an hour, 28 minutes. So that's the kind of time we get from there. So, man, this has been very, very interesting. Let's go ahead and round this up and see what we, we can extrapolate with those numbers. So as the title says, that was shocking and quite impressive. I mean, charging now is just faster. You don't have to wait two, three hours to charge your device. That's just not needed. And it clearly shows with this test. Now, number one was the Huawei P30 Pro, fastest at an hour, three minutes. It's got a 4,200 milliamp battery and also the fastest watt charger at 40 watts. So it's quite impressive, basically slightly above an hour. And that was pretty cool. Second, and the most efficient in my mind, is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It came in at an hour, eight minutes, about just five minutes after, um, and uh, it does have a 4,300 milliamp battery. So take, take that to note. It's got a bigger battery, and it's got a 25 watt charger. So it's more efficient in using the charge coming out of your plug, you know, which is, which is great. So Samsung has really caught up here with their new charger at, well, on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And then you have the OnePlus 7 Pro, which came in third at an hour and 12 minutes with its 4,000 milliamp battery and its 30 watt charger. So impressive from OnePlus. And finally, to round up everything was of course the Oppo Reno 10X Zoom at an hour 28 minutes with its 4,065 uh, milliamp battery and its 20 watt charger. But all times have been really impressive. I mean, I really like it. I like the speed in charges. As you go back, you can see that, uh, you know, at 40%, all of them, are, are, at least the top three, were at around 80% in average in battery life. So in 40 minutes, you get an 8% at just bare minimum, which is pretty cool. But again, looking at what the Galaxy has done, I, I consider it the most efficient because in an hour, eight minutes, it used a 25 watt charger to charge a 4,300 milliamp device to 100% capacity. Again, all devices started at zero. Uh, there was no charge and 
it was pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know if you want me to correct anything, if you have any questions, some improvements, because again, it's the first time I'm doing a video like this. Uh, otherwise, guys, leave your comments down below. And also, hey, don't forget, I am giving away a Galaxy Note 10, uh, as well as also two speaking cases uh, with our friends from Spigen. So use the link down below to enter into the giveaway. We've got a few days left uh, before I announce the winner. So go ahead and enter. You could win yourself a Galaxy Note device. Thank you very much, guys, and always enjoy your entertainment.